Hi, I'm in Kulgadi. Um, the night before I commenced my cycling trip from Kulgadi to Adelaide. So I've been here a couple of hours. Last night we spent the night in Kalgoorlie, which is about um, 35 k's away, and my three good friends very kindly drove me from Perth, which is about 600 k's uh, west of here, um, out to Kalgoorlie Kulgadi, which is fantastic. And um, we had a pleasant night in Kalgoorlie last night, and I've been in Kulgadi now here about an hour and a half. So I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon to organise uh, all my gear. I've got a lot of equipment and there's really nothing I can, I can leave out. Um, this probably looks ridiculous, the amount of equipment here. But it's all necessary. The longest um, gap between roadhouses, I think, is well, just under 200 k's, 190 k's. So I've got to be set up so that if I don't make those roadhouses uh, because of really poor weather, mostly because of headwinds, which can slow you right down to maybe, you know, 8, 10, 12 k's an hour, um, that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but it's got to deal with that. But the, the practical issue is that you're not going to make the roadhouse so the darkness is going to come, so you've got to um, you know, stay by the side of the road in a tent. So if that's the case, you're going to need more water and you're going to need more food and you're going to need tents and sleeping bags and etc, etc. So that's the need to carry um, all this equipment. Anyway, so we'll see what happens tomorrow. I'll get away at first light tomorrow, which will be um, about 6.30. And day one is 167 k's to Norseman. So that will set me up in terms of... Um, you know the weight, etc., and just see how we feel about managing the next, um, the next, you know, twelve or fourteen days. So I put a lot of um, a lot of time into this trip, a lot of planning, a lot of research, and so I'll put it all in motion tomorrow morning. Anyway, I'll check back with you from time to time, and I'll let you know how how I'm faring. Okay, see ya.